It takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. Eleanor Roosevelt, my friends, be planning, be working toward that plan each and every day. 10 to 15 minutes is all we ask. What, as far as your financial life, besides your hard work, saving money, putting it back, what about making it work for you? What about learning how to make it work for you? We're all about the education. We're all about helping you learn how to follow price movement. That's the number one thing you have to do in order to trade successfully in the future. We're not a stock calling service. We're an education firm. We want you to train with us so you can trade successfully later. Let's jump into these charts. What do we see going on? Well, we see a sideways slide and a fair bit of indecision here. We are off our highs. We've broken the trend line. Second week, what do we have here? We have a spinning top. Most of the movement is above, but again, a small candle, much, much smaller than anything we've seen since the turnaround, since the doji that spun us around in the opposite direction, higher than average volume for the low, and then higher than average volume for the new setting of the trend, which is what we like to see. We don't have a high here, like the opposite of the low with high volume. We see a high, well, we see high volume uh, two weeks before we topped out. Then we saw average volume with this doji, but it wasn't hitting a new high. And then what have we seen this week? Well, we've seen a lackadaisical candle. So down for the day, 0.04%. So pretty much flat for the day. On the two day, we're still below the weekly trend line. Same on the half day. We are waiting for the chart to sort itself out and tell us which way it's going to go. Maybe we'll have super high volume tomorrow and it will establish, help us starting start to establish a new uptrend. Maybe it'll all die and roll over and we'll be able to start looking for a downtrend. But right now, too many ifs, ands, or buts. Even more so with the NASDAQ 100. You can see, look at all this low volume here, not helping us out at all. The last time we had average volume was when things tried to move up. And again, the high there was 406.54. Of course, it went up to 410 here, to 413 almost here, and then started dying on the vine. Again, nothing telling us. We're below the trend line, the weekly trend line on the two-day and the half-day charts. We need some type of resolution to give us a good feel where things are going. First rule of trading, don't lose money. Second rule of trading, don't lose money. Third rule of trading, make money. That means we are cautious when we enter trades. We are not gamblers. And again, you're going to have to practice trade as you're going to trade for real. They can't be two different things. Let's jump into 20-year bonds. Where are they going? Well, we had almost average volume last week. Did not have higher than average volume when it peaked. We saw higher than average volume on the three candles that really boomed up, but then moved higher two more weeks, spinning top with average volume last week, and a down candle forming. If you put a trend line in there, it's almost flat. So are bonds going down? Maybe they are. Do we have a good trend that's leading us in that direction? Not yet. And again, check out when we saw things move over. When did they move over? Well, they moved over quite nicely when they bought them with higher than average volume and then turned around and went green. You know, we want to see that when we top, and we want to see that in the opposite when we bottom, like here. So we're not seeing it currently in these charts, and that is not what we want to be able to feel good about jumping into a trade. Now, let's keep moving through the charts and see if anything's shaping up for us. Now, gold is looking a little better as far as the candle goes, but then look at this lower than average volume. Now, one thing we do have is gold did peak quite nicely all the way back in November, then peaked even higher 
bouncing off what we have talked about, this purple line is either a ceiling or a floor on our charts. Here it's a ceiling. See where it bounced off all the way back in May of last year. And of course, it's been a spot where gold is bounced off, appears to be bounding off of it and going down. Decent sized candle, not backed up by volume. We do have the ceiling here. Does it mean that you could jump into a down move in gold? I mean, yeah, you, you could. You can talk yourself into about anything. Is gold going to accelerate down? Well, uh, it, it could be, but we don't have volume to help us back it up. And in fact, I got a great training for you at the end of the video today. You'll see it on the screen, and it is all about volume analysis, helping you understand what it is you're looking for and how to match volume up with the candles, with the Heikinashi candlestick. So unlike what we typically see when we have things that are giving us signals to jump in, we just don't have that in these charts. We go on to Bitcoin, we're still in this one, uh, down a little bit for the day, 0.77%. But again, we've reached a higher high this week. Look at all that volume. We can see on the two-day chart, we're above the weekly trend line, same on the half day. You know, Bitcoin just is a chugging along. When's it gonna end? Can't tell you, but I like that volume and I like the continued up move in it. So again, we're seeing something there. The rest of these charts, lots of questions. So we'll see what gets resolved for us, if anything, on Friday. Remember, that's the day we pull the trigger on trades, on jumping in them for practice trades. So we'll see. I don't really see anything looking like it's going to convince me, but we'll keep watching. And again, learning. My friends, always love to hear from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. Patreon members, thank you so much for your support. We've already put up for you. We did that yesterday, charting cryptos, commodities, and currencies, and your curated three-wave trades for practice trading. We will be putting up the weekly vertical crossovers this evening, sending you an email of everything. Plus, it's always there at the Patreon page. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.